August, 2012. Daybreak doesn't come. All remains dark. Certain universal happenings that will take place that will tell us that the hour is approaching. And one of them is that the sun will appear from the west instead of the east. We have known that for years and years and years. And we were told that the sun will appear from the west as a sign that the hour is approaching. Now, again, I remind myself and I remind my sisters and brothers that whatever I will mention from science that people really put as, as, as the, the absolute truth when we know it is not, but what we know from science is the following. Uh, the magnetic field of the Earth uh, is in decline. It has been for the last 2,000 years. It looks like the, uh, a chart on the, the New York Stock Exchange on a bad day. <laughs> Uh, it's it started uh, declining, it's never gone back. Uh, so we're at the lowest point in planetary magnetics now that we have been uh, in, in the last 2,000 years. We have seen Earth have this experience in the geologic record. We've seen this happen at least 14 times in the last four and a half million years. And every time it happens, it, it precedes a, a, a flip a 180 degree reversal of the magnetic field. So they get weaker and weak. The magnetic fields decline. They get weaker and weaker and weaker until they drop to zero for a period of a few days, it looks like. Uh, then the field reverses and what used to be North Pole to South, South Pole becomes North, and the fields begin to get stronger and stronger and stronger. NASA scientists who monitor the sun say that our star's awesome magnetic field is slipping, a sure sign of solar maximum this year. February 15, 2001. You can't tell by looking, but scientists say the sun has just undergone an important change. Our star's magnetic field, which extends through the distant reaches of interplanetary space, has slipped. The sun's magnetic north pole, which was in the northern hemisphere just a few months ago, now points down. It's a topsy-turvy situation, but not an unexpected one. This always happens around the time of solar maximum, says David Hathaway, a solar physicist at the Marshall Space Flight Center. The magnetic poles exchange places at the peak of the sunspot cycle. In fact, it's a good indication that solar mass is really here. The sun's magnetic poles will remain as they are now, with the north magnetic pole pointing through the sun's southern hemisphere until the year 2012 when they will reverse again. This transition happens, as far as we know, at the peak of every 11-year sunspot cycle, like clockwork. 
Earth's magnetic field also flips from time to time, but with less regularity. Consecutive reversals are spaced 5,000 years to 50 million years apart. The last reversal happened 740,000 years ago. Some researchers think our planet is overdue for another one, but nobody knows exactly when the next reversal might occur. Guess what will happen when that takes place, the sun will appear from the west. And the hadith related through the authority of Hudayfa ibn al-Yaman from Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam about this is very clear. When the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is reported to have said that when the hour approaches, Two nights will join each other and the people will wake up from the first night to see that the night is not over yet. The magnetic fields decline, they get weaker and weaker and weaker until they drop to zero for a period of a few days it looks like. Uh, then the field reverses and what used to be north pole is south, south pole becomes north and the fields begin to get stronger and stronger and stronger. And they will be terrified and they will be scared and they will find that the sun did not come out. And another night came, and then two nights will appear in a row. And then after that, the sun will appear again, but this time it will come from the west instead of the east. of the 10 major signs of the approach of the hour. Five of those 10 seem to be cosmic in nature. 